I don't know why I put makeup on in 97 degree heat. I feel like the Wicked Witch of Milk. Or a Salvador Dali. How you like that for an intro? No mindless drivel while we're driving down the road, just right here, straight to the point. And here we are. <laughs> this is Hamburg State Park. The address is Mitchell, Georgia, as with most parks. We're a little outside the nearest township post office. Um, this is site 13. And I did not choose this site. My better half chose the site. And actually, it's gonna, it's, it's now that we're in it, it's fine. But let me just spin you around here for a second. This is one of those sites like we talked about back at Hamilton Branch in South Carolina last year, where you've got these entrances and funky splits to different sites. And we had to come in and then, like, and then back in to our site. And you know, it wasn't murder, but it was more difficult than a traditional back end or pull through would have been but hey we're in it and I, actually I'm, i think it's rather nice with plenty of shade and let me tell you folks it's june 17th 2022 as we're recording this and this past week the entire deep south has been in an unusual heat wave we usually don't get triple digits until mid late july and into august well it's mid-june and we've had triple digits all this week i'm expecting this campground to be sparsely populated because most sane people would think it's too hot to camp and they wouldn't necessarily be wrong. <laughs> but anyway, let me show you the spot. As I said, da -da 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 -da, site 13. And these trees were of con some concern when getting situated because of the slide, but we made it work as you see. Power and water. No sewer. Dump station up at the entrance, of which we will make use upon departure. Uh, this is a joint congregation area. This is our camping area, and this is camping area for, I think this is 12 right here. And I'm hoping that no one will take it this weekend. Can you believe it? We are at a Georgia State Park. That's a wooden picnic table. Can you believe it? <laughs> but even if it were concrete, I believe it's fine right where it is. So, crisis averted. Uh, this is our view from the front door. Uh, this lake may have a name. I am not aware of it. If it has one, as usual, I have not researched it yet. What else would you expect? Uh, this is going to be a weekend. Uh, it's Friday, tomorrow all day, and then we'll pull out Sunday. So I think our activity for the weekend is going to be some kind of hiking. There is an old grist mill up near the park entrance across the lake. We will probably walk over and take a look at that. Um, and we will probably take long naps and enjoy what little bit of breeze there is. And what little bit we'll do, we'll share it with you, but don't count on a lot. <laughs> We'll check in with you later. Well, I told you if we did anything else, we'd let you know. So I'm letting you know. We're going to ride over to the park office and check in. We still haven't officially checked in. So we're going to do that, and we're going to ride down the road to a local barbecue joint that chef lady here, who's not chefing this evening, <laughs> found out not about. Not today. It's too hot. <laughs> we've, we've not eaten enough to feed a bird today, so we finished checking in. We've got to take care of getting some intake so, so you get to watch do that <laughs>
Auntie Tiffany, the owner, said we could take some video. So this is one more by barbecue. Yes. This is that's Tiffany, the CEO. Right. <laughs> right, well, family good. operation. And they right, deliver by plate, so I'm gonna tell you what that's like. Like right, right like right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Yum, yum. Mm -hmm. All right, be cute. See? <laughs> I, I killed it. Hold on. <laughs> this is the life. Be a little bit less humid. Yeah. But on the whole. On the whole. Seven thirty on a Saturday morning. And this is nice. You know, a lot of state park camping in the summer. You wake up in the 7 o'clock hour and people are grilling their bacon and you hear the kids coming to life and folks taking the dogs for a walk or whatnot. And all that's well and good. It has its, its, it has, it has its own beauty. But there's something to be said for complete silence. And here... Let's spin you around a little bit on this beautiful Saturday morning. There is not a sound of human existence anywhere to be heard, other than my own widened voice. We've got a few things lined up for today. We're going to go check out that grist mill. Uh, there's a scheduled evening hike that we're going to participate in. I think it's like 8 o'clock, which, you know, this time of year, that's still daylight. So we'll do that too. And you'll get to see it. So, we come to life. The fun will begin. Grist Mill. It wants to be a two o'clock guided tour lecture kind of thing. With some information. When you get your corn processed, you have to dry this corn out because if you bring wet corn like you buy at the grocery store today, you would mash it into a pulp and there's no way to keep that from spoiling. So if you think about that Halloween corn that people use, that decorative multicolor mm -hmm. corn, it's processed in a sense that someone's coming. I didn't see it two o'clock. <laughs> we all need to give them the ugly eye. <laughs> children of the late 20th early 21st century yes because as the lady said you ask us where grits comes from well it comes from aisle 12 at the, at the <laughs> super walmart well as interesting as that was 
we now have an afternoon to kill yeah. before our night hike That's right. this evening. So I honestly don't know whether we will go find something else of interest to share with all of you, or whether we will go back and fall in gravity chairs and go to sleep and ignore you for the rest of the day. You got a vote? No offense, but oh, yeah. probably <laughs> the nap or flaking out sounds great. You'd rather watch us hike than watch us nap anyways. <laughs> so on that note, I suppose we'll catch you later this afternoon, early this evening. Later. Call a cow, C-A-U-L. It's when an insect infected the tree and it kind of mutated the DNA of the tree to start growing. It's like scar tissue. Yeah. It's a type of wasp that will infect the tree. Oh. It's going to be gloaming enough back in here hope we can see anything. <laughs> And it was an armadillo and it jumped in the air because we It's a primitive campground. And we had a storm that came through and tore up this whole area. All these trees were pushed mm. up. So we've just now kind of gotten it back to where you could put tents on it and not. So we rent this typically to like Boy Scout groups. And there's a little lean to, and then down the hill is a little composting commode. I've heard three different packs of coyotes around. Yeah. Yes. Because I'll be sitting out there, I'll hear one start howling. They'll stop, and then another one on this side of the lake will start howling, mm -hmm. and then a third pack over here starts howling. Oh, wow. right. So we've got distinctly three packs of coyotes around the lake. And then muscadines are the Y'all have any questions about anything? I feel like we talked about everything under the sun. But, but nothing in particular. <laughs> you mentioned... It was nice. Sunday fun day. Mission report. Mission 34, Hamburg State Park, Mitchell, Georgia. If we don't want to tell you anything about it. Dude, it sucks. Don't, yeah, don't go there. there. Yeah, avoid it like a plague. <laughs> a diamond in the rough, I have to say. I could have stayed a really long time. <laughs> Wish we had done. And not really a lot to do. But that was part but of the that was joy. So, <laughs> it was just so quiet. It's Nice. And the pond slash lake was so lovely. It, it just that's what old fogies like us get into this for. <laughs> and I mean like we we mentioned at one point, you know, there's party parks mm. and there's parks like this. That's why they make both kinds of ice cream folks. You know, some chocolate people like some people like chocolate, some people like vanilla. And hey, we've been to party parks and had a good time. Sure. But it's a little bit harder to find a nice and quiet, restful park. Especially with that view. I mean, the waterfront views from those campsites are great. I mean, there are only a couple of sites. I mean, granted, there's only, what, 30? 28? I think it's 28. Um, sites in the campground anyway, but almost all of them have a waterfront view. But because it's a pond, <laughs> um, okay. uh, 
there are no, you know, motorized boats other than, you know, a, a trolling motor with a John boat. And so it was really, really quiet. And yeah, no, no water sports allowed. No, so no I, boating, skiing, swimming. Well, no, cause no of, swimming. No, because of the gators. <laughs> <laughs> but you I can fish. Boats. If you're into that, you can fish. Um, and they had pedal boats, yeah, like you mentioned. There were, yeah. yeah you could like, rent the um, pontoon pedal boats, John boats. Kayaks and canoes, I believe, all of those are available. Yeah, you saw a few folks kayak fishing. Oh, yeah. And what you came to hear about is the camera. And I think we're in agreement. It's a passing grade. Oh, yes. Uh, you know, 28 sites, it's a very small campground. Uh, we would compare it in size, I guess. Well, even the park in, in total. We'd probably compare it to Aiken State Park that we've been to and showed you yeah. before. But it's done a lot. Of yes, a lot of updates. A lot of updates. A lot good of picnic paint, tables are new. pavement everywhere. Brand new um, bathhouse. I was going to say that. Very nice with a laundry facility. Um, very, very, very good. All the utility hookups were in good shape. I don't know how, how relatively new they are, but they're certainly in good shape. Our site was fairly level, too. I know some of the sites have a little bit of a hill. To get down to them, but they seem to be fairly level, which you know is often difficult at a water site. I, I would think that only a couple of the sites there were what we call big rig friendly. True, but folks with big rigs have surprised us before, so your mileage may vary. Just kind of check into it if you decide you want to haul something thirty-six feet or bigger down there. Very nice. The staff, the staff was very nice. And knowledgeable and helpful. Um, they were very friendly. That's why we said you don't want to go there ever. Leave it for us. Leave it for us. <laughs> and this does fall into our channel philosophy. I think, well, it might be a hay over 50 miles, but it is in our local central Savannah River area. Oh, yeah. So that qualifies to us as home camping. And we got there in an hour and change. Yeah. So I guess on that note, we will put a bow on Mission 34. Our next adventure is uh, as we live this five or six weeks from now, we will be making a return to Calhoun Falls State Park back on the South Carolina side. That's on Lake Russell, a little bit north of us. Uh, so you'll see this. We have an idea for a how-to video. I, I know, uh, as I've said, I know better than to promise anything. <laughs> You may see a little something before you see Calhoun Falls, but I'm not promising anything. But you at least have Calhoun Falls to look forward to. So, until the next video, whatever it may be, keep, keep living, living and learning. learning.